Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you again today with a nice helpful video. In this one, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys kind of this awesome keyword tool that I found that you can pretty much type in a keyword and it's gonna give you all of Amazon's suggested keywords. And it's a free tool to use. I'll jump behind my computer and show you guys how to use that in just a minute. I'm also gonna have an article linked down below for you guys that are looking to start your PPC campaigns. This is a great thing that helps kind of you understand what the broad search term is compared to a phrase and an exact match term. So I'll have that article linked down below. We'll run through it in this video. I think we're gonna go ahead and talk outside because it's actually a beautiful day out. So we'll go ahead and talk out on the porch in just a minute, but I'm gonna show you what's up behind my computer right now. But stay tuned towards the later parts of this video because I'm gonna be sharing what's up with tomorrow's live stream when I'm gonna have the four year UK Amazon seller back on my channel. And he's gonna share with us phase two for launching our Amazon product Facebook page. If you guys watched my earlier videos, I literally got 2,400 likes for like $25 targeting uh, countries with a lower GDP, and I'm starting to grow this Facebook page for my product to really build a brand around it. And then we're gonna go retarget to US Marketplace, and we're gonna go ahead and get likes on our page there so that the Facebook algorithm picks up that we're targeting the US now. And then later on, we'll move into phase three and actually start to market our product towards the US customers. So this is gonna be really exciting. I encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. And I'll even share with you guys kind of the retail arbitrage shipment I've been doing. So I've pretty much boxed up 70 units of inventory. I had a friend who wasn't able to sell his neodymium magnets on amazon.com, but I did find a way to get past that and was able to sell them. So I'm gonna send in 48 units of those. I'm gonna have 25 pairs of garden gloves. It's springtime, so people love those. And then I had a couple other units that I went and actually got from Walmart. And I'm gonna be sending those into the Amazon warehouse to make some extra cash. But first things first, guys, let's go hop behind my computer and I will show you guys what's up with that keyword action. All right, guys, so the first tool I wanna to show you is called SEO Chat. You'll see the link down below in the description. You can click on that at any time. It's a nice free tool. So basically what it does is mimic what Amazon shows you in suggested keywords. So if I type in hammock here, we see a bunch of suggested keywords and these are actual search terms that customers are typing in when they're looking to actually buy products. So it's really useful information, especially because it's coming right from Amazon itself. Now what this keyword tool does is pretty much the same thing. You can deselect these other search engines, so you're just looking at Amazon. And then we can go type in hammock right here and press search. And then it's gonna give you results strictly from Amazon, and you can see just the term hammock, if you type that in, it'll come up with all these long tail keywords. It even has, if you type in an A afterwards, so inside Amazon, if you typed in hammock A, it's gonna give you all these other keywords. But the sad thing is, if you ever try and copy a keyword, or if you go back, and then go back to Amazon, the keywords disappear. So what's cool about this tool is that you have all the keywords for every pretty much letter in the alphabet, and you can go copy all these long tail keywords, throw it in something like a delete duplicate words tool, like I'll show you right now. So we're over here at tracemyip.org. That's a kind of a crazy name that they made for it, but I'll show you what you can do here because you only need a keyword one time inside of Amazon. So we'll see, just for an example, there's hammock a bunch of times right in this term right here. You can see hammock all over the place. What you wanna do if you're putting in backend keywords is erase all those different hammocks so it just shows up once. And this tool allows you to see, you can see there's just one hammock and then it takes out all the duplicate words for you so you can plug those right into your backend keywords. Beware though guys, sometimes the, the long tail search terms will be weird. You can see it says bearded dragon here, so that might not be relevant to your term, hammock for bearded dragon, but this is awesome guys. It's just one extra tool in the tool bag for you guys to use. I recommend you look into this because there are some great keywords you can see, hammock mosquito netting, mattress pad, hammock jacuzzi. Okay, I'd be down for a hammock jacuzzi. That'd be pretty sweet. Hammock hooks for trees. So all these different keywords that you may have never thought of, you can go ahead and throw these into even a PPC campaign and see what you start getting clicks on. And that leads me over to looking into PPC. So I have this other link for you guys to check out below. You can see it shows all about kind of PPC strategies, organizing your search term reports, because when you pull those out of Amazon, they can get kind of confusing. 
It shares with you the differences between broad, phrase, and exact match. So for example, the broad match is an ad that offers the most traffic exposure for your product, but it's not gonna be as narrowed down as a phrase or an exact match. So you might show up for search terms that you don't wanna show up for. And if you start getting clicks on those, customers aren't gonna buy your product. So you might see better conversions with phrase and exact match, but you wanna do a broad match anyway so that you can actually find other keywords that you may not have thought of that Amazon is suggesting and customers are clicking and maybe even buying your product. So there's all that. It shows you, you should probably have at least 25 to 40 keywords to start your first manual campaign. It even shows you when you should actually start to bid down or bid up on specific keywords. So basically if you have a really low ACoS and you're looking at a 10 to 20% ACoS, so your search terms are converting really well, you have a really low ACoS, so if you make $500 in sales and you only spent 10 bucks on ads, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and run that keyword bid up for whatever keyword you're getting all those sales from. And if you're getting an ACoS over 40%, you may wanna start to bid down on those specific keywords. So it covers a whole lot of different information. It shares with you all the different tools you can use. There's some paid ones like Merchant Words and Google Keyword Planner's free. The SEO chat is where I actually found this keyword tool for you guys. So I recommend you go ahead and read this article. It's really good. So that's gonna be about it for this keyword video. I hope you guys really liked it and feel free to drop any questions and comments down below if you have any concerns about this or whatever and I'll be more than happy to jump back to you and give the video a thumbs up so that you can come back and rewatch the video and you'll have a direct access to all those links whenever you wanna come look at them. When you like a video, it saves in your like videos. So you can go click on those at any time, guys. So let's go hop out on the porch and continue the rest of the video. I got some awesome product update material I wanna to bring to you as well. Well, wouldn't you believe it? Sunny in the morning and pouring down rain in the afternoon. I guess that's what you can expect in springtime in Washington State, but I can't complain because everything here is straight up fresh and clean and green. Check it out. So yeah, I actually just came back from an oxygen tank. I was getting my leg pretty much holistically healed in a hyperbaric chamber. I guess my mom's into this kind of stuff and she took me there to go check that out. So I was in a crazy oxygen tank getting healed up and thinking about what I wanted to do further on my Amazon product to optimize it the best I possibly can. But I wanted to share with you guys, my photographer just received my product over in New York today and he's gonna take product photography and send me those images within three days. I found him on fiverr.com, a great place to get awesome Amazon or product photography done. And he's actually gonna leave me an awesome review and unboxing video and leave that review on my Amazon detail page so when customers come and see that, it's gonna hopefully convert them a whole lot more when they see an actual unboxing video of the product itself. That's a great thing you guys should try and implement in on your products. So other than that guys, please stay tuned for tomorrow because I'm going to be covering what we're going to be looking at with Chris Jones and the second phase of this Amazon and Facebook ad campaign where in the beginning stage we went and got a ton of cheap likes over in countries around the world for a really cheap price. We're almost at 2,500 likes and by the morning we should have about 3,000 likes on my Amazon product Facebook page and after that we're going to go start retargeting towards the U.S. marketplace and getting likes there so that the Facebook algorithm picks up that we are now targeting the United States. And then after that, we can finally hone in on making some awesome marketing ads and market those to the people that are interested in this product in that niche on Facebook. So I'll share with you guys the whole story about what's gonna be going down, but be sure to tune in tomorrow for the live stream because you guys can ask all your questions there as well. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be about it for this video, guys. I do wanna recommend I also will have the link to if you ever wanna start selling on Amazon, I've made a course for that. And I know there's a ton of other Amazon courses out there, but mine's literally less than half the price of a lot of other courses and it's got almost twice as much info. Like the first course I took was 500 bucks and mine is right now for 297. And the first course I took had 33 videos, mine has 65. And I just have a whole lot more capability to kind of reach out to you guys because my channel's a lot smaller. So I wanna throw this in the end of some of my videos because it is a lot of work that I put into it and I'm really trying to 
stress the fact to you guys that if you do get it, I'm literally not gonna fail with you guys. I'm going to go hard and share with you every bit of information I can possibly share to help you succeed selling on Amazon. With the way the world is going nowadays, you can do yourself a favor right now and just start because stores are shutting down worldwide, guys. In the next five to 10 years, we're gonna see a rapid disruption of all the marketplaces and I'm pretty sure everything is gonna go online. Who knows where we're gonna go? We're moving at such an exponential rate into the future right now. So much so that we haven't even seen this kind of explosion like ever before. So I'm really encouraging you guys to just start kind of some online business in and of itself. If you can get on YouTube, if you can do any kind of affiliate marketing, and that's one thing, if you get my Amazon course, you can even affiliate market it on your own YouTube channel. So I'm encouraging you guys to start your own YouTube channel. You can share your journey and then you can go ahead and say, hey, look at this, I got this link down here. I took this course, it's helping me out. And you can pretty much make money while marketing the course and learning Amazon at the same time. So you're literally making 20% commission every time you make a course sale. So if you sell five courses, it's gonna boost you guys up insanely and make you so happy because literally when I made two course sales back when I first started my YouTube channel with Tanner J. Fox's course, I woke up, I had two course sales and it just floored me to the ground. I was like, dang, this really worked. I made money online and I started affiliate marketing and YouTube and Amazon at the same time. And I really think it's a great uh, benefit for you guys to look into that stuff. So if you guys have questions, I also have some links. You can hit me up on an Instagram DM or my Facebook page or anything like that, guys. I won't be running this 297 sale, $297 for the course that sale this long. It's normally a $397 course, still pretty cheap compared to what kind of value you're gonna get from it. 65 videos, my personal mentorship, a Facebook group, everything else that you can possibly want. I mean, all that's missing is like some free cake with a cherry on top, but no, I'm just kidding guys. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Again, go ahead and just throw a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't want me talking about a little course spiel at the end, just let me know. But I did put a lot of time into it, so I wanted to hone this in with you guys. This Luke W, man, he's hyped. It's a sunny day. I just came out of the oxygen chamber. I'm feeling crazy. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.